Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse, I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the 2022 New World Metals Conference, where I caught up with Ron Mitchell, Managing Director of Global Lithium Resources. Ron, welcome to the Roadhouse. Um, it's, uh, well, Global Lithium Resources, um, yeah, <laughs> hit the market a while ago and hit it in a big way. Um, now a two-pronged uh, lithium project company. Um, being very well received by the market, everybody's very happy with what you're doing. Um, so um, let's start with the Marble Bar project, that was the original project that you kicked off on. So um, what's been happening up there? Yeah, look, really pleased uh, with the progress of Marble Bar. We um, initiated a 60,000 metre RC uh, drill campaign. We've got lithium mineralisation over about a 15 kilometre strike. Um, so very pleased we're nearing completion of that, that campaign. Um, and we've been bringing announcements, results to market uh, over the last couple of months. And our second project at Manor, um, out in the Eastern Goldfield, similarly, uh, an RC drill campaign of around 20,000 metres. We're, we're more than halfway through that campaign. Um, we've backed that up with a diamond drill campaign as well and getting some really outstanding results. So incredibly pleased with both assets, uh, fantastic safety record, zero LTIs. Um, we've got a really ambitious and um, a fantastic drilling team assisting us, so very pleased. All right, so let's talk about the numbers you've been getting in the drilling. Uh, so are they more favourable at one or the other? You know, is, is one sort of going to be the, 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 the darling child as yeah. opposed to the other? Favourite child, yeah. I often get asked that question. Look, um, too early to say. Obviously, we're still bringing the results to market. Um, but importantly, we've got joint compliant resources at both assets. Um, ten and a half million tonnes uh, up at Marble Bar and, and about ten million tonnes uh, at our Manor resource. So we'll be announcing quite a significant resource upgrade in Q4 this year. Um, Optero is helping us uh, with that resource upgrade so we're very optimistic we'll be announcing something uh, quite special in Q4. Oh, and, um, and it's interesting too, okay, so you're up at Marble Bar, you're also in the gold fields and, and two totally different regions you know, historically mm. um, and, and uh, bringing up the, the one modern uh, um, element, let's say, metal. So uh, yeah, you're doing some interesting stuff in old areas. Well look, um, I've got a, a saying, you know, West Australian iron ore built the new world and Western Australian lithium is going to power the new world. Uh, what's really important is we have assets in two of arguably the world's greatest mining jurisdictions, being the Pilbara and the Eastern Goldfields, and, and all the, the benefits that come with that in terms of environmental compliance, contractors with experience operating in, in, in these jurisdictions, um, environmental approvals and so forth, so we're quite lucky in that respect. Location is everything in this industry. Um, and as I said, having a project in the Pilbara and Eastern Goldfields gives us a fantastic platform going forward. And I will say it's something that's been noted by the, the global electric vehicle valley chain, um, the fact that we have these assets in such a wonderful location. Yeah, so <laughs> two greenfield projects in um, uh, the, the brownfields of uh, WA basically. Absolutely. Um, and again, that infrastructure piece is key. You yeah. know, the, the gold and the iron ore industry has really paved the way for us and we'll be able to piggyback our, off that branding internationally, you know, West Australia has this incredible reputation of delivering tons to market and you know, our lithium project is poised to be one of the next big stories. So these are obviously shaping up as uh, right, substantial projects, does that mean okay we can work these up and while we're doing that are we looking further afield, are we you know, looking for other things in, in, in the offing? Yeah well we've uh, always got a, our eye on, on the next project of course. Um, yeah, as I said, we've got a very ambitious, well-credentialed board and um, we want to grow the co company and really add great value to our shareholders. So uh, growing organically and through M&A is going to be key for our, our longer term success for sure. All right. Well, as I always say to everybody, keep us up to date at the Roadhouse with what's going on we'll so we can keep everybody else up to date. But uh, until we speak again, Ron, it's, uh, no yeah, thanks for visiting. Thanks, Wally. Cheers, mate.